Tesla's Model 2 butterfly door just did something nobody expected. During rain tests, engineers discovered the angled design deflects 80% of precipitation away from passengers. Double the protection of Model X's gullwing doors that let 40% splash right onto you. The geometry creates an instant umbrella effect. But here's the twist. This wasn't even intentional. The door was designed for senior accessibility with 60 centimeter side clearance, and the weather protection emerged as an accidental bonus. Could this solve the problem every driver faces but never talks about? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about those numbers. During Seattle testing, Tesla engineers measured rainfall deflection at different door angles. Traditional sedan doors, 15% protection. Model X gull wings, barely 60%. The Model 2's butterfly system hit 80% in light rain and 75% in heavy downpours. The secret lies in the 75-degree opening angle combined with the upward-outward swing that creates a natural water diversion path. But here's what makes this controversial. This feature emerged purely by accident while solving a completely different problem. The original target was senior accessibility. Tesla surveyed drivers over 60 who complained about three specific pain points. Low seat height, heavy doors, and awkward entry angles. The engineering team raised seat height to 540 millimeters reduced side clearance requirement to just 60 centimeters, and designed the butterfly mechanism for smooth assisted operation. Nobody was thinking about weather protection. So when did they discover the rain blocking capability? During wind tunnel tests in Michigan, a sudden storm hit while a prototype sat outside with doors open. The team noticed rainwater pooling away from the cabin instead of flooding in. Here's where it gets technical. The door system isn't just mechanical, it's computational. Integrated sensors monitor wind speed, terrain angle, and even detect precipitation type. When conditions shift, hydraulic dampers adjust resistance in real time. Park on a hill with 15 degree incline during 40 miles per hour winds? The system compensates automatically, preventing door slam or loss of control. How does this compare to conventional power doors that operate at fixed speeds regardless of conditions? The dampers can modulate opening speed from 2 seconds in calm weather to 5 seconds during storms. This isn't just convenience, it's injury prevention. Trapped fingers from sudden door movement cause over 150,000 emergency room visits annually in the U.S. Tesla's adaptive system reduces that risk by reading environmental variables 60 times per second. But there's a catch. More sensors mean more potential failure points. Can a $12,000 car afford this level of complexity without turning into a maintenance nightmare? Tesla faced a perception problem. How do you create an accessibility-focused vehicle without making it look like a modified medical transport? The answer came from eliminating visual compromises. The butterfly doors maintain the Model 2's sleek profile when closed. No external hinges, no awkward body modifications. The 60 centimeter side clearance means you can park in tight spots without sacrificing the ability to actually exit the vehicle. Standard sedans need 90 to 100 centimeters of clearance for comfortable entry. Early testers with arthritis reported something unexpected. The assisted opening requires less than 3 pounds of activation force. Compare that to conventional car doors requiring 8 to 12 pounds to open. The optional heated floor panel under the door prevents ice buildup and provides stable footing. Critical in regions where 30% of senior fall injuries happen during vehicle entry and exit in winter conditions. Why hasn't any other manufacturer thought to heat this specific area before? Now, the part everyone's arguing about online. 
Those butterfly doors add 44 kilograms total weight, 22 kilograms per side. In a segment obsessed with every gram, this seems like heresy. The 0 to 60 miles per hour time increases by 0.2 to 0.3 seconds, moving from approximately 6.5 to 6.8 seconds. For context, human reaction time variation exceeds this difference. You physically cannot feel this change during normal driving. Range impact? The standard Model 2 does 420 kilometers per charge. The Senior Edition drops to 415 kilometers. That's 1.2% reduction. But Tesla compensated with improved thermal insulation that saves 2 to 3% battery power on cold days, translating to 12 kilometers of extra winter range. The net result in real world conditions is essentially zero. Yet critics are calling this a range sacrifice. Are they missing the bigger picture? Or is there legitimate concern about compounding efficiency losses? Here's the controversial part. Tesla used aluminum alloys and composite materials to distribute that 44 kilograms strategically. The center of gravity remains unchanged. Physics doesn't care about door weight if it's balanced correctly. Track testing showed identical handling characteristics between standard and butterfly door models. So why is there so much noise about 44 kilograms when most drivers carry more than that in cargo on any given day? The real story isn't the door. It's how Tesla manufactures it. Each butterfly door installs in under 90 seconds using fully automated torque-assisted systems. Model X gull wings require 7 to 8 minutes with manual calibration. That's a 5 times speed improvement. Multiply that across thousands of units, and you're looking at massive production efficiency gains. The complete system costs $800 to $1,000 per vehicle to produce. Sounds expensive until you compare it to other complex door mechanisms that run $1,500 to $2,000. Tesla achieved this by designing for automated assembly from day one. The modular components integrate with existing Model 2 production lines with minimal modification. No separate facility needed. No specialty tooling. The same robots that build standard Model 2s can handle senior edition units without line slowdown. But here's the twist nobody's discussing. This production efficiency makes the butterfly system scalable to other models. What if Tesla applies this to Model 3 or Model Y? The manufacturing infrastructure already exists. The cost curve continues dropping with volume. We might be looking at the beginning of a door revolution across Tesla's entire lineup. Or is this just wishful thinking from analysts trying to justify the innovation? If an 80% rain-blocking door with smart sensors and senior accessibility can be manufactured for under $1,000 and installed in 90 seconds, why hasn't any other automaker done this? BMW, Mercedes, and Lexus all target older demographics with premium pricing. They have the resources, the engineering talent, and the manufacturing capability. The technology isn't exotic. Hydraulic dampers and basic sensors have existed for decades. The answer might be uncomfortable. Traditional automakers design for showroom appeal, not parking lot reality. They optimize for the test drive, not the thousandth rainy morning. Tesla designed this door by surveying real users experiencing real problems. That feedback loop, from actual pain points to engineered solutions, is what's missing in conventional automotive development. Are legacy manufacturers trapped by their own design philosophy? Or is Tesla just better at listening? So here's what that 80% rain deflection really reveals. Tesla didn't just design a door. They redesigned the entire philosophy of what cars should do for people. That accidental weather protection proves something profound. When you solve real human problems instead of chasing spec sheet numbers, innovation happens in places nobody was even looking.
This changes the conversation about electric vehicles. For years, the industry obsessed over range, acceleration, and charging speed. Tesla just showed that a $12,000 car with smart doors and genuine accessibility can matter more than a $100,000 hypercar that leaves you soaked in the rain. And if they can engineer this level of intelligence into a door, what else have we been overlooking? The Model 2 Senior Edition launches in Q2 2026, but legacy automakers are already scrambling. Expect BMW and Mercedes to announce weather adaptive access systems within 18 months. The question is whether they'll actually listen to their customers or just copy the mechanism. What problem in your daily driving experience has every manufacturer ignored? Drop your thoughts below. The engineers are watching. This is Tech Revolution, where we dig into the breakthroughs that actually change how we live. The automotive revolution isn't about being fastest anymore. It's about being smartest. And that shift is just beginning. The Tesla Model 2 is finally here at $10,555, and it's bulletproof. Not metaphorically, literally stopping 44 Magnum rounds while weighing less than a Honda Civic. Its dual motors don't just power the wheels, they redistribute torque in milliseconds, stabilizing uneven cargo loads that would make other budget EVs swerve. What's truly shocking? Elon Musk scrapped the entire protection system days before launch, replacing Kevlar with a custom polymer that's 28% more flexible. How does a car this cheap outperform $50,000 armored vehicles? Let's dive right in. Most people think dual motors just mean more power. They're completely missing what Tesla actually engineered here. The Model 2's system is fundamentally different from every affordable EV ever built, and you'll feel it the moment you load 200 pounds of luggage into the trunk and merge onto a highway. Standard budget EVs split power 50-50 between front and rear motors. Simple, cheap, predictable. But real-world driving isn't symmetrical. Load three suitcases in the back, the rear suspension compresses, weight shifts, and suddenly, your front wheels are underutilized. The result? That unsettling drift at 65 miles per hour that makes you grip the wheel tighter without realizing it. Over 12,000 miles annually, that's 40 extra hours of steering corrections just to track straight. Tesla embedded a four-axis gyroscopic sensor network that monitors cargo distribution in real time. When weight shifts rearward, 150 pounds of tools after a hardware store run, the front motor doesn't just maintain output. It actively pulls harder, adjusting torque from 50 to 50 to as much as 60 to 40 in under 200 milliseconds. That's faster than your nervous system can register the imbalance. The rear motor simultaneously communicates its load status, creating what engineers call real-time torque arbitration. Testing data reveals something striking. With 300 pounds of uneven cargo on California Hill roads, the Model 2 maintained 0.85 GE cornering grip. Competitors averaged 0.7 grams and required constant steering correction. That 18% improvement is the difference between confidence and anxiety on every mountain drive. Here's the controversial part. Tesla originally designed this with the standard 50-50 split. The variable torque mapping wasn't in the production plan. Musk ordered the software rewrite weeks before manufacturing locked in, forcing engineers to validate 10,000 miles of beta fleet data on a compressed timeline. The result cut handling complaints by 35%, but it meant 